what is up guys in today's video i'll be showing you how to make a pretty safe flash powder the flash powder that i'll be making in today's video is potassium nitrate flash a good old standard and uh, potassium persulfate flash uh, which can be replaced by sodium persulfate if you have that laying around and in fact sodium persulfate is slightly better than potassium persulfate because it is less hydroscopic and it is more powerful i'm using magnesium powder and these two oxidizers will be combined with magnesium powder nevertheless let's jump right into the video now i'll show you the most effective ratios for these flash powders first being for the potassium persulfate which i'll just call kps uh, all these ratios work very well just make sure that your potassium persulfate is as dry as possible the same goes for the potassium nitrate um, as you can see we have 50 50 we have 60 40 and we have 70 30 and i have tested this one personally and it was pretty good and for the potassium nitrate, we have 50-50 and 60-40, which both work very well. So how do you mix this? Well, it's pretty simple. Um, you take your scale. So now it's teared. I think that's the right word. Uh, that just means it's zeroed out. So now we can start adding the two components. So uh, the procedure is the same for both of these uh, flash powders. Well, let me start with the magnesium. Okay, I'll make two grams, which means uh, if I'll make potassium sulfate well it depends which ratio i think i'll try this one actually i haven't tried that so to get two grams of potassium per sulfate flash i would need 0.6 grams magnesium and 1.4 grams of potassium per sulfate i basically just multiplied these numbers by two that is about right right on okay so now let's get this out but i'll, I'll get some gloves because this stuff is pretty toxic. Now I have a glove. In fact, you should always wear gloves when making flash powder. And now that we're talking about safety, when making flash powder, you need to be as safe as possible. So always wear proper protective gloves. And it's highly recommended that you wear some sort of um, coat like this. Also, make sure that you have goggles because you don't want this in your eye. And also, one last thing to note, you should definitely invest in one of these. Uh, this is a mask that protects me against metal dust and all kinds of other air float particles. Alternately, you can do this outside. All right, so now let me just get this opened and I'll add this. Here is the potassium persulfate and it is ground into a fine powder. I need to hit 1.4 grams. It doesn't have to be perfect. The next part is the mixing. Here, there is only really one option, and that is the diaper method. So uh, let me get a piece of paper. So here's my piece of paper. It can be any type of paper. It doesn't really matter, as long as it's not like covered in some plastic. So now what you want to do is just grab your, your two chemicals and dump them down on this piece of paper. There we go. And as you might have noticed, this is not that fine. There's in fact some clumps. So you want to get rid of those. And the easiest way that I see it is just to uh, either use a strainer before mixing these two. Otherwise, you can just uh, fold the paper and just press it and then just pull it across. That way it grinds it up. And as you can see, it is starting to mix. And at some point, these clumps will be gone. And then you can just fold this paper back and forth like this until it has a consistent look and then you're pretty much done. Um, one thing to mention is that you shouldn't really store this. Although you could, it just poses a danger as the magnesium can react with moisture in the oxidizers, which could result in an explosion. Anyway, I'll come back to you once this is all mixed up. All right, so here it is. This is the final product. And as you can see, it looks pretty consistent. That was how easy it really is to make flash powder. And this has a lot of wide uses. And there you go. I do in fact have two grams. That right there is how to make flash powder. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you next time.